More tea in the Gypsy Rose Saga. So it's being put out there by another creator who did not fact check in any way, shape, or form. Shocker. That I have been summoned by Mike Stanfield to testify for the Blanchards against April when it is retried in court. First of all, according to a family friend, they don't even know if they're retrying it to begin with because it's going to be, quote, expensive. I suggested take some of Gypsy's blood money and pay for a lawyer since she got everybody into this whole fucking mess to begin with. However, so it's not even been decided if it's going back to court, okay? So why would I be contacted by Mike Stanfield to testify for the Blanchards in a case that has not even had a jurisdiction picked and a date set, but somehow I have been contacted to be on the Blanchard side. This is news to me. It's amazing what you hear about yourself on the internet because, I mean, how the hell would I ever know that I was being summoned to a court case without the helpful, helpful TikToks that I see on here? I have no idea where you got this harebrained idea that I've been summoned for court for Mike Stanfield, but I haven't. I've not gotten a text, a letter, a call, a TikTok message. I haven't gotten shit. Now, if you read that long, lengthy lawsuit, if it does go back to court under number 46, I absolutely could be called. But as of yet, not even so much as had a reach out. I would have stitched the video, but I'm blocked by the creator. <laughs> oh. By the way, I might want to add this. I'm not on the Blanchards or April's side, okay? I've made that abundantly clear. I've been fucked by both of them, okay? Put me on the stand. Put me on the stand. Because whoever asks the questions gets the truthful answer, and I don't give a fuck who looks bad in the fucking mess, because I ain't got a horse in this fucking game. Both y'all fucked me. And whoever asks the questions is getting a truthful fucking answer, so fucking put me on that stand.